everybody, welcome back. And for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. It's great to have you here. Thank you for stopping in. Now, today we're making a creamy broccoli soup with some sweet potatoes. Now I'm adding sweet potatoes instead of, you know, a lot of times you'll see recipes with white potatoes or gold potatoes, but I'm boosting up the nutrition here today, guys, with the sweet potatoes. It's really delicious. This recipe is gluten-free and vegan, and it is packed with flavor. And I'm gonna show you how to get the most flavor into this. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. All right guys, let's get started and go over our ingredients. Right here I've got my carrots. I thinly sliced them, kind of tried to make them uniform in size because we're gonna be sauteing them and I want them to cook up within a reasonable amount of time. We have some celery over here, with, which is just a rough chop. What we're gonna be doing here is putting the, the carrots and the celery and the leeks here in a blender and we're gonna be blending that up. So it doesn't really matter the size too much. All right, so I have leeks here that I've, you know, you wanna wash them and then, you know, give them a nice slice. Over here I've got some broccoli, which is organic. Everything here actually is organic. Just cut the florets off and make them sort of bite-sized pieces. And here I have some sweet potatoes, which I've cut into nice little chunks, about a half an inch in size. We'll need some olive oil, salt, pepper, and I'm gonna be using some uh, sliced almonds that I've toasted on the stove. And all you do is just toss them in a pan, heat them up, and you know keep an eye on them because they'll, they'll burn easy, but uh, just toss them around a little bit until they're nice and toasted. All right, guys, we got to start off by sauteing our uh, celery, carrots, and leeks. So I've got a frying pan here, medium high heat. I'm going to add a, you know, a good tablespoon or more of olive oil. Let that heat up just a bit. Now we're going to add our leeks to this. Now this may seem like a lot to start off, but they will cook down and that's the point. Now guys, this is the secret to this soup. All right, is right here, sauteing this. If you've seen my other videos, you might have uh, heard me talk about this particular mixture, onions, celery, and carrots. Do you remember what, I, what it's called, the name? It's a French name. If you remember, go ahead and put it in the, in the description. Let me know, or down in the comments, actually. And we're gonna saute this for 20 minutes, no less, okay? I don't want you to go a minute less because this is where it's gonna be, uh, get the most flavor. All right, guys, I'm going to add a little bit of salt to this. Now I'm just going to throw in a little pepper. And you can see this is starting to cook down. So we still have probably another 10 minutes or so to go. You can always go a little over, but don't go under 20 minutes when you're cooking this. All right, guys, here is our mixture, our celery and our carrots and leeks and they've been sauteing for a good 20 minutes, maybe 22 minutes here. I want you to see the consistency. It looks even a little bit mushy, but that's perfect. That's, a, that's what I wanna see. All right, so I'm gonna turn the heat off now and I'm gonna let this cool for about five minutes and then I'm gonna put it in my blender. While we're waiting for our uh, mixture to cool, what I have here is a pot of boiling water. Well, it's almost boiling. Um, it has an insert in it. You don't have to have the insert, but I happen to have one, so I like to use it. And once that water starts to boil, we are gonna add our broccoli to it. Now I am gonna salt the water. Once that comes to a boil, I'm going to pour the broccoli in there and cook it for like three and a half, four minutes tops. And then we're gonna save the water. Okay, we don't wanna throw it out. That's our broth for our soup. Our broccoli is done. It's been three and a half minutes. I just take a knife and I just kind of poke it, make sure that it's tender and it is. Now in my case, I'm just gonna lift this up and drain the water back into the pot. You, if you don't have this, of course, you're just gonna pour it into a colander. So now we're gonna work on blending up our mixture here. So I'm gonna take three quarters of the broccoli and I'm gonna blend it up. And I'm gonna leave the, the one quarter left set aside so that you have a little few pieces of broccoli in there that are whole and it gives the, the soup a little bit of texture that I like. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in there. And you wanna do your broccoli while it's still warm. It's, it tends to blend up a little nicer and creamier. All right, so I'm gonna set this much aside, leave that right there. And I'm gonna add some of this mirepoix. And this is gonna make the mixture or the soup rich and creamy. All right, I'll blend up that much. And now I'm gonna add nice uh, broccoli water here. Let's give that a go. Now, remember this mixture is really hot, so you're gonna to wanna to use a towel, put it over it, 
You don't want it splashing you, you don't want it to burn you. All right, here's the, the last of our soup. It's a little bit different color than what's in the pot right now, but that's because it's more of the mirepoix than the broccoli. Here you see it's pretty thick, but we can add some more liquid, more of our broccoli water to this to thin it down to the desired consistency. I'm gonna give this a little taste. It needs a little more salt, not too much, but a little bit more. And I'm gonna add some more cracked pepper to that. Now I'm gonna add the broccoli that was left whole back to the pot. And I'm gonna pull these apart a little bit just because I want the pieces a little smaller. And then I'm gonna place this back on the stove and just keep it warm because now we have to cook up our sweet potatoes and add them. Our last step, guys, like I said, is preparing the sweet potatoes, getting them cooked and adding them to the soup. It really doesn't take very long. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil to this and I'm gonna toss these in. And we're just gonna cook these up. They're gonna caramelize a bit and add even more flavor. You know I like that. They've been cooking about eight minutes. I'm gonna cover them and that'll speed up the cooking. All right guys, our sweet potatoes are done. You can see they've uh, browned up a bit. They're caramelized slightly and they are tender. I tested them with a fork and they're good to go. So now we're gonna add them to our soup. All right guys, it's soup time. Here we go. This soup is done and it smells good and I tell you, I'm gonna give it a taste and let you know how it tastes. It's a beautiful green color. You can see the orange from the potatoes. And then the way I like to serve it up is with a little bit of these nice toasted almonds right on top. And you could top it with say any kind of cheese like Parmesan would work really well. I've done that. Okay, here we go. Let's taste this. Guys, I promise you, you make this soup like I've showed you you are not gonna think healthy at all. That's not even gonna come into the realm of, in your mind. It is delicious. It's earthy, it's rich, it's, it tastes very decadent, it's creamy. Just the flavors are amazing, really. I hope you'll try this recipe. Please try it. Leave me a comment below when you do. Let me know how you like it. And if you think that you know somebody you know might enjoy this, please share it with them. It really helps spread the word about my channel and I do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that button right up there and you'll be notified every week when a new video comes out. Thanks again for watching. Give me a thumbs up, share the video, and we'll see you next time. Take care.